everyone. Today we're going to talk for a few minutes about offerings to God. Now the first thing we think about in offerings probably is money. We get put money in the offering plate uh, that goes to many good things, not just keeping our building up, but it also has to do with we give to many organizations and places that help people uh, that are in need. But there's more to offering God than just money. You can give money to lots of great organizations that help our environment, help our uh, help people, also help animals, plants, all sorts of things in our world that need help. But there's a lot of other offerings that we can give to God that we don't think about a lot. Now, sometimes people have clothing. Maybe there's clothing that someone's outgrown or isn't using. Or maybe it's a toy that you have that maybe you don't use anymore, you outgrown it, you're not interested in it anymore. But there are a lot of places you can give. Uh, every Christmas they have drives for toys for kids. We have Senate Bill 40, we have Share and Care at Ween. We have the uh, workshop down in Keatsville, and there's lots of other places. Places in Kansas City we send uh, coats to and warm clothing for people, especially those that are homeless. And so there's lots of things you can do with those things that are in your closet or in your drawers that you don't use anymore or you just don't need. That's one way. Another way, sometimes we can get offerings by working. We can actually go do things to help people, maybe to repair something, get something in good shape so they can use it. People that don't have, either aren't able physically or money-wise, they can't do that. Sometimes just helping clean. Now this can be around the house. This doesn't have to be out anywhere either. You can help at home. You can clean, you can put things away, you can do the dishes, you can do lots of things. And I don't think we ever think of that as offerings to God. But anytime you give of yourself, no matter what you're doing, maybe you're just carrying something for somebody. Another thing I'm thinking about is school is about to start and one of the nicest things and a great offering to God would be just to smile and say hi to people. Sometimes that makes their day. So when you go to school, you might think about, see how many people you can smile and say hi to each day, not just the first day of school, that's certainly special, but all year long. Even when we're in grumpy, sometimes you just have to bring yourself together and give them a smile, and that make, might make someone happy for the rest of their day. Uh, there's other things I was thinking about. You could, you could make cookies, make something and give it to somebody you think would like to have something special, maybe a neighbor that doesn't get out, or somebody from church, or some a relative you know, that might like to have something special. And there are many, many other things that anytime you help someone else and you don't expect anything in return, you're helping God. So this next week, let's think about that and what are some ways maybe we haven't done. You could even recycle when you take your plastics and your paper and recycle it. That is offering to God because we're trying to help the planet that he made. So anyway, let's spend this next week and really the weeks after, see what kind of offerings we, are, we haven't thought of before we can do in the name of God for him. So let us pray. Dear God, help us to remember we always have something we can offer so that we might share your love with the whole world. Amen.